today and I want to share with you some extracts from one of my favorite novels, The Inferno by Henri Barthus. The most superb taste will be satisfied by reading this masterpiece. Through a hole in the wall of his room, the narrator sees the world in its wretchedness and its sublime beauty. Some sins would torment him till the end of his days. I tenderly traversed through the pages of this book to give you a brisk yet enchanting taste of its blissful artistic plentitude. The woman from the depth of her rags wave of murder smiled. She must have a divine heart to be so tired and yet smile. She loved the sky, the light, which the unformed little being would love someday. She loved the chill dawn, the sultry noontime, the dreamy evening. The child would grow up, a savior, to give life to everything again. Starting at the dark bottom, he would ascend the ladder and begin life over again. The only paradise there is, the bouquet of nature. He would make beauty beautiful. He would make eternity over again with his voice and his song. And clasping the newborn infant close, she looked at all the sunlight she had given the world. Her arms clawed like wings. She dreamt in words of only. She fascinated all the passers-by that looked at her. And the setting sun bathed her neck and head in a rosy reflection. She was like a great rose that opens its heart to the whole world. But her smile was not only in wonder about the future. There was something tragic in it which pierced my heart. I understood it perfectly. She adored life, but she detested men and was afraid of them, always on account of the child. She already disputed over him with the living, although he himself was as scarcely among the living. She defied them with her smile. She seemed to say to them, he will live in spite of you. He will use you. He will subdue you either to dominate you or to be loved by you. He's already braving you with his tiny breath. This little one that I'm holding in my maternal grasp. She was terrible. At first, I had seen her as an angel of godness. Now, although she hadn't changed, she was like an angel of mercilessness and vengeance. him. It distorted her face, resplendent with superhuman maternity. Her cruel heart was full of one heart only. It foresaw sin and shame. It hated men and cell accounts with them like a destroying angel. She was the mother with fearful nails, standing erect and laughing with a torn mouth. Let me know in comments what you literary masterpiece you love the most. Stay tuned. I will be happy to see you again.